what's going on YouTube Montez family six here have a lot to show you these are some long overdue uh, pickups but wanted to share them nevertheless you're probably wondering what the deal is with the uh, bottled uh, beer here well this is from Mother Earth Brew Company and this is a special edition Scotch Ale that was made in 2016 and um, thought it was really really nice my friend who works over there gifted this to me so uh, I had the pleasure of opening this up and uh, enjoying the L so to speak of this beer anyhow uh, there might be something in the future with Montez Family 6 and Mother Earth Brew but we'll get to that a little bit later so wanted to start things off here. Got a lot of goodies here. Uh, let's just kick things off with, uh, let's go with this one here. This is uh, Barely Living. This is one of his art bars he came out with uh, a few years ago and uh, thought it was really cool. I met with him in uh, the Long Beach Coin Show and picked these up from him. This is the proof version of that. Really cool. And then uh, Black Hand Bullion had two uh two versions of his iconic brand symbol and this is the uh, square version this is a two ounce and i was able to pick that up and then here's the uh round really really cool piece there and then uh, lake house beach posted this on um, instagram a few weeks back and it's uh one of very few that he made, but look at that. It has a really cool texture, colored uh, face to it. Really nice stuff. That was cool. And then MK Bars here. Can never go wrong with MK Bars. And this is the uh, Cap Dakota round that was made for Captain Coda. Very nice piece there. And then uh, just some odds and ends here. Uh, I got a couple of uh, Silver Trade Units art bars and found one of these art bars as well found that on instagram and these are kind of cool these are somewhat rare uh and uh i'm gonna have that slabbed with sac but thought it was really cool and then i found one of these here this is a uh Swiss, um part of the pamp series but before pamp and Swiss joined forces Swiss credit uh, actually started the Lunar Series. So there's one right before this one here in 2010. And then after 2011, they started the PAMP Lunar Series. And those come in the red essays. And then uh, found this one on Instagram from a seller who goes by the name of Wreck the Fed. Really good guy. This is uh, an 80s round. This is cool too. Trying to figure out that one. Um, need to figure out who made this, but I have a couple of these. Really nice piece there. And then uh, MTO here is another seller on Instagram, and he's coming out with some really, really cool designs. Uh, trying to get the right shadow there for you to see. Uh, but there you go. And it's kind of cool because you can see the stamp is somewhat concave really really nice and then just found some odds and ends as well found this california gold plated art bar really really cool piece here uh state of california obviously that's where i'm from and then uh oh this is cool here this one here is a rare piece here i uh, won that um in an auction in ig and uh, this is a really really hard piece to find the story behind this is in the uh, Carson City uh, Mint uh, store, if you will. They made these uh, back in the day and uh, sold these probably for dirt cheap because they were novelty items. And um, anyhow, these are hard to come by these days. And I was able to pick this one up. Really, really rare piece to find. Really nice piece. And then uh, I found uh, this from a, another person on Instagram, Gold Spartan, a tribute to Kobe Bryant. I had him stamp it with the number eight on the back. Thought it was really, really cool. And then it has his latest jersey, 24, on the front. Really, really nice piece. 
Um, and then let's see what we got here. This here, uh, got this from the Locker Mint. Again, he was selling these and thought it was really cool, so I picked one of these up. There you go. Nice, nice round. And then uh, JP Metals, I think uh, most of you know him by now, but JP Metals has uh, his own line. This is uh, the commercial uh, rose uh, that he came out with, and there's an art bar on that one as well, too. Really nice texture. And then he had this one, too, I picked up. The uh, elephant round, really cool design. Love that. Number 10 of 50, so I was really stoked to get that. And then let's see what else we got here. Here is uh, Anchor Precious Metals. So he's also a seller on uh, Instagram, and he had uh, MK Bars make him uh, these rounds, and he's selling them right now on his Instagram channel. I picked up two of those. And then Wild Pig Cores, really, really cool guys over there. If you haven't checked out the video that we shot for him, his uh, bio and documentary, it's out on YouTube now. It's on my channel if you haven't seen it, but a really cool story about these guys. These guys are very unique in what they put together. Look at this piece here. Look at that thing. It's huge. It's one ounce. It's the prototype um, round that they came out with. But look at that thing. That is really cool. He hammered away at that for hours to get it that thin. Look how razor thin that thing is. That is really cool. And then he came out with uh, two other bars that I had to pick up. They have a turquoise inlay, um, which I thought were really, really nice. So those are really cool as well. And then um, Silver Dragons, I hit him up because I saw he posted uh, – a dragon head and I asked him to make me one and he was like yeah no problem and uh, made me this uh, one-off uh, custom uh, two and a half ounce dragon head and I thought that was really cool you know really cool of him so thanks for that and then uh, this is a, a cool one here I've been after this one for a while uh, this is the uh, USVI uh, Roman head and thing looks really awesome all the toning on it and you know, over the years, but uh, USVI made a few of these um, and different variations. And I have a video posted about this and these specific rounds that they made back in the day. So uh, these are really hard to come by. If you get a chance, you know, to find one, you know, I would highly recommend picking one up. They come with the premium, but, you know, the fact that there's a story behind it is really cool. Uh, okay, Silver Slacker on YouTube, uh, watched one of his videos and uh, picked up his uh, 2020 Silver Slacker bar and was really stoked about that. Let's see, what number did I get? I got number 46. So both of these are stamped 46. There you go. Thank you for that. And then uh, right here. Wild West Bullion. Uh, he's also a seller that's on uh, Instagram. I reached out to him, asked him to make me this custom piece with the Ace of Spades on it and have what with the uh, skull as well. So very cool. That's a nice one. What else do we have here? We have, oh, this is cool here. Check this out. So there was um, only a few of these made here. And this is a Prospector uh, one ounce bar, but it's gonna it's kind of hard to see here. But let's just see if I get this here. Uh, Prospector one ounce bar. There are only 100 of these made uh, by Prospector Gold and Gems, and I was able to pick up number 90 um, of this one here. Let's see that here. And the cool thing about this is the way they designed it is they designed it so that the Daniel Carr one-tenth ounce uh, gold coin fits right in there. So if you check this out here, and it's also a, a prospector. Let's see if I get the better shot of this there. And if you could see that, that's the prospector, and it has the Daniel Carr. I'm sorry, there's the prospector side. Okay. 
that's the Dan, the Daniel Carr Prospector, and on the reverse it has the Daniel Carr uh, Eagle on there. So where the way this works is that you fit this into right into this bar here. So it then is it then is considered um, part of the bar itself, and it's the one tenth ounce gold that fits right in there. Really cool. Love that design. And then uh, I found another one. I got so lucky with these here. I was really stoked. But this is the uh, JMC Canadian. I found a 3-ounce finally. I've been after the 3-ounce. I need the 4-ounce. I need the 7-ounce to be somewhat complete with this set. But uh, I, have, I have currently the 5-ounce and the 10-ounce. Now I have the 3-ounce. But these are super rare to come by as well. Anyway, this video is getting really long, so I want to speed through it here. Um, I got some Rolos here. Uh, these are cool here. Those are really, really cool. Swiss of America. And then uh, Locker Mint. I uh, was able to pick up uh, his new Mardi Gras round. Let's see if I can see that here. Really, really nice. Um, and uh, picked up one of these uh, limited edition rounds that he made this is only one of one actually so picked that up really quickly he posted it one day on uh, instagram and uh picked that up from him and then uh got some mutiny metals items here i ran into mutiny i ran into the owner of mutiny metals in long beach and stopped by said hi and he uh handed those over to me and says have fun and uh moose wolf metals who's also on instagram um, had a collaboration with MK Bars and uh, poured this nice or this uh, bar there. And I got some odds and ends here that are just, uh, uh, you know, art bars. But this is a cool art bar I was able to find. It's Superman. Really cool. Nice bar. And then uh, my slabs, of course, here. Got a couple of them. So let's just take a look at this. I submitted my 2019... American Silver Eagle S. Um, I did it without the certificate because I opened the box, but I still got a 70, so I was really cool, stoked about that. And then uh, when I was at Long Beach, I had uh, this graded, a 2020 uh, proof, and had the special label for Long Beach for that show. Got a 70 on that. And then uh, had this slab. This is a, a bar from the Locker Mint. Had that one slab with SAC. And then here's the... Moose Wolf Wet Metals uh, bar that they had a collaboration with uh, MK Bars on. So this is the antique version, and here is the non-antique version. So really cool, about stoked about that. And then uh, got one of these from uh, America Mint, had that slabbed as well. Really, really nice bar. Another uh, version of the America bar. Very cool. And then found this one and had it slabbed as well, too. This is uh, Las Vegas. This is the uh, Golden Nugget Casino. Really nice bar. Cool. And then uh, one of my own rounds I came out with uh, last year had that uh, slabbed as well. So anyhow, YouTube, I hope you all enjoy. Um, Really cool pickups um, I had recently and just wanted to share with everybody. And you all have a great one out there. Take it easy.